yes, but only if you want it to be. Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about the 2018 Mac Mini and how it's being positioned as sort of a pro device. And also the way that people are kind of getting it wrong. Okay, so to start this video off, let's talk about the positioning of the Mac Mini, because historically, the Mac Mini has been a budget option. The 2014 Mac Mini especially was very much focused on being the cheapest Mac. And because of the way that Apple approached that device, it was intended to stay a budget Mac, regardless of how you spec it out. The only thing that you could really change on that computer was the storage. So it kind of cemented this in as sort of a media center, a basic home computer, not really meant for any pro tasks. However, the new Mac Mini kind of redefines the segment because while it is still the cheapest Mac you can buy, you can spec it all the way up to 4,200 bucks with 10 gigabit ethernet, 64 gigs of RAM, six core i7s, two terabyte SSDs. This is hardly entry level specifications, entry level product targeting. But there are some things that a lot of people are missing when they're reviewing these new Mac minis. A lot of people are saying that the Mac mini is now a pro device, and then they'll buy the base model with a Core i3 and talk about it in comparison to a lot of the more expensive devices Apple sells. So a lot of people are taking a look at this base model i3 Mac mini and comparing it to either quad or six core MacBook Pros, or even the iMac Pro, strangely. Now, first of all, I think the fact that you can make a comparison performance-wise from the CPU on the $800 Mac Mini to a $2,400 15-inch MacBook Pro and say that they are pretty comparable, pretty close, speaks a lot to the value proposition of the Mac Mini. However, a lot of people are treating this base model Mac Mini as kind of the Mac Mini as a whole and saying that this is a generalization for how the Mac Mini performs. One review that I watched pretty recently was an Engadget review where they had the base model Mac Mini and they compared it to an iMac Pro in some respects. That I think is a swing and a miss because this base model Mac Mini is still a budget option. It's still the cheapest computer that you can buy from Apple. So comparing it to the most expensive computer you can buy from Apple doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now granted, you can take the base model Mac Mini and give it a ton of upgrades, and all of a sudden you've got a $4,200 computer, but keep in mind that a lot of that is basically in RAM and SSD, so it's not really quite a fair comparison to say this thing is $4,200. Personally, I wouldn't upgrade to two terabyte internal SSD and 64 gigabytes of RAM, and so already you're saving like more than half of that price. But anyway, the Mac Mini, when you start getting into a pro point of view, is more of a base system. So if we take that comparison to the iMac Pro and just go all the way, the iMac Pro has a display that cannot be changed. The iMac Pro has a graphics card that cannot be changed. And while you can change the RAM and you can change the processor, I mean, it's pretty tricky. The Mac Mini, on the other hand, gives you arguably more versatility because you can put whatever display you want on this thing. You could say, I want two 4K displays. Boom, you got it. You could say, I want a an ultra wide display. You can do that. You can pick whatever display you want. You can also pick whatever graphics you want with an external GPU. You can get a Razer Core, put a 1080 Ti in it, put a 20, an RTX 2080 Ti. You can put whatever cards you want with this machine. That kind of versatility is pretty much unparalleled in anything else Apple sells, especially at this price point. Okay, so if you are looking at the 2018 Mac Mini from a pro standpoint, it's important to note that the base model is probably not going to cut it on its own. If you're looking to do Premiere, if you're looking to do Final Cut, you're probably going to want that Core i7 option. You're probably gonna to wanna to upgrade your RAM. You're gonna probably plug in an external RAID array for storing files and stuff. You're gonna probably plug in one or two 4K displays and an external GPU. Once you add all of this up, you're of course getting a more expensive system, but now you can start to call this thing a pro device. 
taking the Core i3 model, the $800 model, and saying, look at this, this is not a pro device, is misleading because I don't personally think that that base model is supposed to be a pro device. And the idea that you could compare it to an iMac Pro performance-wise is a little bit absurd. Okay, so let me know what you guys are thinking about this device. Do you think the Mac Mini is a good idea for pros, or do you think it kind of misses the mark? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, at LukeMiani, and I'll see you guys in the next video.